straight from the casket, it's called Classic! Rip G. Reeves here. Welcome to the debut episode of the Twin Cities longest running late night horror review, Cult! Classic! Tonight, we will be watching a film so terrifying that you may die while viewing it. Provided you are already in very poor health. George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead! Often imitated, but never duplicated, Romero's atmospheric zombie opus clutches its relevance like a loaded shotgun to this very day. This terrible... <coughs> Not this again. Now get on with it, you drunk. Ugh. This introduction's taking longer than my last three lives. I feel like that was funnier in rehearsal. But I suppose we should give a big round of applause for my co-ghost. Oh, thank you. Sven the oh, Cat. Thank you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry I was late. I, um, well, I was drunk. You know, I worry about you. What royalty-free movie are we thrusting upon the Twin Cities tonight, Rip? Well, what I was trying to say before I was boozily interrupted is we're watching George A. Romero's horror masterpiece, Night of the Living Dead! <laughs> Is that the one where they botched the copyright? It is indeed. The film was originally slated for release as Night of the Flesh Eaters. However, the studio botched the copyright and released the film as Night of the Living Dead with no legal protections at all. So you're telling me that everyone and their mothers can make an Of the Living Dead rip-off without ever paying Romero a dime? Indeed. Wow, Rip. That sure is a fun, fun film, film fact. fact! Here's another fun film fact about Night of the Living Dead! Bosco chocolate was used as a blood substitute in the film, or bloodstitute. Oh, fun, fun film fact. fact! Actors ate real people on set. Well, that just isn't true. No, I uh, think I read it somewhere in that Fangoria did, or maybe that other monster magazine. Um, Dianetics. Fun film fact, Romero's Night of the Living Dead broke new ground in American cinema by casting an African-American lead at a time when, unlike today, our country was still deeply racially divided. Fun film fact. Um, I'm going to throw up. Oh, as long as you do it on the tile and not the carpet this time. God, I don't feel good. Oh, oh, I don't feel good, Rip. The promises are for fools. Oh. And now we bring you George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> I said not on the carpet. Welcome back, my classic cultivators. I'm Rip G. Reeves, and tonight we are viewing George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead! Wow, what a scary movie. 
I know the dead rise from their graves to feast upon the living as a metaphor for man's inhumanity to man. What movie were you watching? I was terrified by the lack of hard liquor in that black and white kitchen. Good point. Speaking of which, that allows me to segue into one of our most gracious sponsor breaks. Oh. Old Man Yelly's Tub Time Booze. Now, Sven, have you ever felt less than drunk? Oh, you mean sober? Correct. Have you ever felt sober? Well, Rip, now that you think of it, yeah, once, before my son died, Then might I suggest Old Man Yelly's Tub Time Booze, the only booze distilled in real Tennessee bathtubs. Well, I got some right here with me now. Yep. 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 Here, yep. yes, really get it in there. Yep. That's where the medicine goes. Yep. Oh. 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 How do you oh, feel, Sven? I can't see! Rip! Oh god! Everything's gone black! That means it's working! No, it's not working! Something's wrong! Something's wrong! Oh, you'll be fine! No, I'm not gonna be fine! How am I gonna drive to work? I have to take care of my mother at home! Oh god! No, I can't see! Old man I yellies! Can't see. Old! Oh! Old Man Yelly's Tub Time Booze, a proud sponsor of Cult Classic! And now, let's return to Night of the Living Dead! Rip, Rip can you please call the doctor? Oh, you'll be fine.